and now with these additional pages in our report, it would be nice for the recipient of the report to have an easy way to navigate to a page they are interested in, uh, you know, to see data for a particular segment. And one easy way that we can help the user with that for a native tool to Pixel Perfect uh, would be the table of contents from the toolbox over here on the right hand side. All I have to do is double click on this and you see that it winds up creating a new header band for me um, that's displayed at the start of the band here. Uh, I can select the entire header band and from there I can set the height of the band to be 300. And then I want to make some changes to the TOC itself. So I'll click on the TOC and you can see here in the property grid very clear which object we are working with. Uh, we want to expand first the level default node and then inside here we can change the font size to size 14 and let's also change the foreground color from black to our custom click dark gray. We'll do something similar for the level title node. We can expand the font. Let's change the size of this to 16. And once again, we'll use the same foreground color that we've been using in the entire report. And for the title, let's make this very simple. Table of contents. And let's take the executive dashboard title and move it up here. Now, we want to make sure that the table of contents is properly indexed, so that way it's showing the correct field names along with the proper pages that sh they should be linked up to inside the report. So for that, we can scroll down because we're going to be using that segment desk field. And if I wind up going down to the bottom here, there is a data binding node, which I will expand. And specifically, I'll go to the bookmark. And then the binding here is listed as none right now, but if I click on the drop down menu, I'll take the level here with the segment desk and I will click on the actual value of it. Okay, let's run a preview and this should be the final step towards getting us our highly formatted, highly functional pixel perfect report. All right, and here is our table of contents, and you can see it here indexed on the left-hand side of Acrobat as well as directly inside the report. This is clickable. I can click on that and it takes me to the exact page in the report. So we have everything that we wanted to get out of the TOC. We have our nice page here that included formulas, images, uh, native pixel perfect charts, native pixel perfect tables, spark lines, scripting, uh, totals and subtotals, a QR code at the bottom of each page, and then a distinct page for each field value that we loop through using the concept of levels. So I hope this was valuable for you. I think that there are a lot of different possibilities in using the Pixel Perfect template editor. Uh, certainly there is a definite business case for using this type of report as opposed to something that gets produced in either Office or HTML. Uh, and hopefully this will be the first steps towards getting you in the right direction and creating your own highly formatted reports using the Pixel Perfect Editor.